Welcome back, Dino Adventurers! We've already met the famous land dinosaurs in our last episode. Do you know that some dinosaurs could fly in the sky and others ruled the deep seas? Get ready as we explore the incredible world of flying and swimming dinosaurs. Let's dive in! Let's explore! Welcome to the world of flying and swimming dinosaurs! in the skies. Meet the Pteranodon, a giant flying reptile with a wingspan as wide as a small airplane. It didn't have teeth, but it used its sharp beak to catch fish from the ocean. What a skilled flyer! Who needs teeth when you have perfect flying skills? I just scoop my food straight from the water. Now, let's meet the Quetzalcoatlus, one of the largest flying animals ever. It had a wingspan of over 36 feet, as big as a bus. Scientists think it could walk on all fours when not flying. Flying is great, but sometimes I like to just walk around and surprise everyone with my size. Now, let's dive into the ocean and meet the Mosasaurus. It was a huge marine predator as long as three school buses. With razor sharp teeth, it could swallow its prey whole. wouldn't want to go for a swim with me. I'm always hungry. Meet the Ichthyosaurus, a sleek, fast swimmer that looked like a dolphin. It could hold its breath underwater for a long time and had big eyes for seeing in the dark depths of the ocean. Who needs gills when you can just zoom through the ocean like me? Fast and stylish. Check out the plesiosaurus. It had a long neck and flipper-like limbs to glide through the water. Some people think it might be the inspiration behind the Loch Ness Monster. Monster? No, no, I'm just a friendly prehistoric swimmer. Here's a mind-blowing fact. Did you know that pterosaurs aren't actually dinosaurs? They're flying reptiles. Dinosaurs only lived on land while creatures like Pteranodon and Mosasaurus ruled the sky and sea. Surprised? What an adventure! We soared through the sky and dived deep into the ocean. Now, let's see how much you remember. We'll ask you five questions, and for each one, you'll get four answer choices. You'll have five seconds to choose your answer. Are you ready? Let's go! Question 1. Which flying reptile had a wingspan as wide as a small airplane? A. Pteranodon B. Mosasaurus C. Stegosaurus or D. Velociraptor This creature soared through the skies during the late Cretaceous and used its long, toothless beak to catch fish. The correct answer is A, or Pteranodon. Pteranodon had a wingspan of up to 33 feet, about the size of a small plane. That's some serious air power. Question two, what was the largest flying creature ever? A, Plesiosaurus, B, 
Ichthyosaurus, C. Quetzalcoatlus, or D. Triceratops. This flying giant was taller than a giraffe when standing and could glide for miles. The correct answer is C. Quetzalcoatlus. Quetzalcoatlus had a wingspan possibly over 40 feet. It's the biggest known flying creature to ever exist. Question three. Which marine reptile looked like a prehistoric dolphin? A. Ichthyosaurus B. Mosasaurus C. T-Rex or D. Velociraptor This sea reptile had a streamlined body and a long snout, perfect for swimming fast and catching fish. The correct answer is A. Ichthyosaurus Ichthyosaurus means fish lizard. It looked like a mix between a fish and a dolphin and it was built for speed. Question four. What did the plesiosaurus use its long neck for? A, swinging at enemies. B, reaching for leaves. C, looking for food while swimming. Or D, flying through the air. Its super long neck helped it sneak up on fish and other small prey under the water. The correct answer is C, looking for food while swimming. Plesiosaurus used its neck like a periscope to spot prey. Very clever underwater hunting. Question five, are pterosaurs actually dinosaurs? A, yes, B, no, C, maybe, or D, I don't know. Even though they lived at the same time, scientists classify them in a different group. The correct answer is B, no. Pterosaurs were flying reptiles, not true dinosaurs. They belong to a separate branch of prehistoric reptiles. You did amazing, Dino Explorers. Now you know all about flying and swimming prehistoric creatures. In the next episode, we'll uncover how dinosaurs became extinct and how scientists discovered their fossils. Don't forget to share with your friends, like, and subscribe for more dino discoveries. See you next time. Like, subscribe, and share.